Hello everyone, I wanted to share what's in my bag video. I just got this bag for my birthday and I wanted to share how I've been using it. This is a Michael Kors Safiana Leather uh, East West Hamilton Satchel. And I love the, the stiff leather and that it's a structured bag. So here you can see from the top, this is what it looks like inside my bag. There's a black case here, a little makeup bag here, and my planner that you can see immediately. It has a magnetic uh, closure, a back zipper pouch right here, and then two front pockets, one here and one here that you can't really see too well. So to start off with, my planner always goes with me when I leave the house, and this is because this has my brain on paper, my life, my reminders, my to-dos, my schedule, my everything, and I also use it as my wallet, which I have all of my cards and whatnot hidden behind this pretty uh, piece of cardstock. So this is my wallet and my brain, and this follows me everywhere. So when I'm home, this is following me from room to room, when I leave the house, this goes in my purse and takes up the bulk of my purse, which I'm okay with because I need it for everything. Then I have this pink pouch and this black zippered case. The black zippered case is my blood sugar test or monitor or I don't know exactly what it's called. I have gestational diabetes, so I have to carry this with me. I need to clean it out, please excuse. This big bag is like my little garbage can for on the go, so it has like the alcohol pads and the, the things that are used, um, and I have some alcohol pads here. Okay, so that's all that's in here, and this has to go with me when I leave the house in case I need to check my blood sugar. I have to check it at certain times after I eat. This won't be a permanent thing in there. Hopefully after baby's born, my body will be working properly again and I won't need to check my blood sugar. I won't have diabetes anymore. This is a makeup case that I got from Target many years ago, but I use it as my little charging station. I have some charging cords, a wall outlet thing for the charger cords, and a battery bank with two outlets and right now it is 75 percent charged so this little one and this black and white cord these are um, android style chargers and this one is from an iphone this one is the lightning you can see the difference and then the wall charger okay so this just lives in this bag usually this little mini black one is plugged into my laptop but I was using it um, earlier so I put it in there I'm gonna set that aside this can charge my iPad I think twice and it can charge my phone four times or two phones twice so it has it has a pretty good amount of battery in it for when I need it. Alrighty, so now in the bottom, underneath those two pouches, I keep my keys because usually when I'm going out, I'm with my husband and I don't need my keys easily accessible. So I put it on the bottom and it has this hook or this like line attached to the purse. I just added a D ring to the purse's hook and then I attach my keys to that ring. So I don't have to constantly open the clasp. So there's my keys, two sets of car keys, house keys, and all that. And then in the two pockets here, I always keep my phone in this front left pocket. And then in this right pocket, when I don't have pockets on my pants, I keep my pocket knife for tools for a little tool whenever I need it or god forbid if I ever need it for protection I always carry it if I had a gun license I'd carry that instead 
but I don't and I don't so these are my little Bluetooth earbuds that my husband got me for my birthday along with this bag and I keep those in that pocket in case I want to use them when I'm out and about otherwise they live on my desk with my planner when I'm home that way I can use them here in this back zipper pocket which is the last thing I the last pocket to share I keep all of our family's medical cards and some it's like my little makeup section so all of my family's medical cards one for each person we have our family of eight soon to be nine those are all there just in case god forbid someone gets hurt we need to run to a hospital i have everyone's cards floss because i always have to have floss for my husband in every purse every diaper bag every room of the house every desk every drawer he always needs floss so i always have to have that and in the cars we have like 20 things of floss open at any given time pack of gum because this is one of the few gums I can actually have while having gestational diabetes. It has very low sugar, no carbs, well one carb, but I can have this and it doesn't affect my blood sugar. So that's nice. And I have a Revlon mirror. It's a dual sided regular and magnifying mirror. I'm not going to shine it in your eyeballs, but I'll try to so you see you can see one is a magnified and one is normal. I also always have to have this because my husband's eyelashes attack his eyeballs, so he always needs to see super close up to get it out. And plus, if I need to like touch up my makeup or anything, I'm gonna grab what's left in here, and this is what I have. Lip stuff and tweezers. Excuse the loud screaming in the background. That's my two-year-old throwing a uh, a, a terrible two hissy fit. Okay, dogs. That is everything in my new bag. I just got this for my birthday less than a week ago. I've been using it every single day. I love it. Um, it's actually the second time my husband bought me this bag. And I shared that quick little story in my birthday haul. So if you're interested, check out the link for that. And hearing that and I'm sure I actually did a video for that way back when I'll post that in the description below but that's everything in this purse and I'm glad to have it again and I thank you guys for watching I'll see you guys in the next video bye